Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T, bringing you another quick video, and yes, we gotta talk about OnePlus. Now, I know you've probably seen the leaks, you've probably seen the rumors and different things like that, and I feel like I can talk about OnePlus, man, because let me go ahead and give you some backstory. Now, I am a fan of OnePlus devices. I have just about owned all of their devices, except maybe the 3, 3T, which, whatever, one of those, one of those. I've just about owned every single OnePlus device. I'm a huge fan of OnePlus. I I love what they do and I even rated the 6T my number two phone of the year last year so let's just start there man I love OnePlus but I like them but they just kind of disappoint me when it comes to the leaks of the OnePlus 7. Now if you want to go back and talk about notches man I feel like OnePlus had the best design of the notch when it came to last year. Everybody had deep notches. We had the Google Pixel with a huge notch. Then you had your iPhone notch. You had whatever device out there that had a notch. A lot of people didn't like it. I was not a fan of the notch in the beginning, but OnePlus comes around and gives you that teardrop. And I felt like that was the best version of a notch if you had to call it so when it came to the smartphone last year. Now we know everybody is so stuck on this bezel-less design. I just do not understand why everybody wants just the phone to have zero bezels. I mean, you take a look at the Note 9. What is wrong with those bezels? I think I think for a smartphone, those bezels are absolutely perfect. I think it's fine to have a little bit of bezels, you know what I mean? Because I would rather have a bezel on a smartphone before we get to what the OnePlus 7 is rumored. Yes, a pop-up camera. Now, I know the pop-up phone has been out there, man. The Vivo Next had a pop-up phone, one of those Oppo, uh, Oppo, I, whichever way you say it. I know it has been a thing, but ever since it's been a thing, I have, me personally, man, I have just not been on board with a pop-up camera, and here's why. Now, you may can say I'm old school, you may can say I have an old mind of thinking to be in the tech world, but I think that is another moving device that is eventually gonna mess up. I mean, it's just a pop-up mechanism. I mean, what's the lifespan of an actual pop-up camera? I, I don't know, I've never used any one of those devices that has the pop-up camera, so I could be completely wrong, but I know for a fact, and I've seen a lot of people talk about it so far, majority of people just simply aren't on board when it comes to a pop-up camera. Nobody wants a pop-up camera, and I think people would rather deal with the teardrop notch to where that camera can rest there instead of dealing with a motorized mechanical pop-up camera. And if you're making a pop-up camera, I feel like that's still pushing you to the more premium side. Now you guys always stuck on the never settle, the, the flagship killer movement, with you doing a pop-up camera, I feel like that's more premium hardware. So does that mean the price point is gonna raise because OnePlus, you were a budget device. You were a, uh, you know, you, you had a good price point for what you offered, but you've been slowly creeping up on the price. And I feel like if you incorporate a pop-up camera, man, it's just gonna make that phone that much more expensive because I'm pretty sure the tech inside of that costs a little bit more to produce. So the pop-up camera, simply just not on board. I am not a fan of the pop-up camera. Bring back the teardrop notch. I think a lot of fans will like that a little bit better. Now let's go ahead and jump and talk about the wireless charging when it comes to the OnePlus. Now, OnePlus has already came out and stated that there will be no wireless charging on the OnePlus 7. Now, I'm not sure if you are like me, but I have tons of wireless chargers. I mean, I have one on my desk, one by my bed, one on my actual bar right here. I have them at, at my work desk. I have wireless chargers everywhere. Now, do I 100% depend on wireless charging? No, I still plug my phone up from time to time because if I'm laying in the bed, I could be using my phone, my battery might be dying, I plug it in, I still use it. So I'm not 100% invested in wireless charging, but you know, I'm a high percentage that use wireless charging. Now, OnePlus's reasoning for not including wireless wireless charger was because they feel like it isn't fast enough. But if you get a fast enough wireless charger, you, you're you pretty much good. I mean, how much faster do you want it to be? Now, I know OnePlus has the dash charging, and I'm not going to lie to me, and I'm pretty sure they may be faster out there. I know somebody's going to come and say, try Huawei's or try Vivo's charging. But one thing I know is OnePlus has very, very good charging when it comes to their dash charging system. Now, I know you're all up on to the, you know, fastest charging speeds, but look, we need to add wireless charging to your devices at this point. I mean, anytime you let Apple bring something out, anytime you let Apple incorporate something before you, then you're actually late to the market when it comes to wireless charging. So OnePlus, go ahead and stop with this wireless charging isn't fast enough type of thing. I don't really think that people care about how fast wireless charging is, but it's more of a convenience thing, man. Some people out there 
never plugs their phone up. I have a friend that never has plugged their iPhone up, period. It's 100% wireless charge. So you have people who depend on wireless charging. OnePlus, I know it's not that expensive. I mean, I, I don't manufacture phones, but I know it's not that expensive and you can include wireless charging, man. The people out here need wireless charging. It's 2019. Most of every phone has wireless charging. You can go pick up a budget. You can go pick up a, a, a cheap phone and it offers wireless charging, man. So let me know down into the, just let me know in the comments what you think, man. Do, are you, first of all, are you on board with the whole pop-up camera? I know I'm not. You already heard what I got to say about it. And the OnePlus 7, the charging. Are you, do, do, should they bring wireless charging? Do you care about wireless charging? And do you even use wireless charger, man? So let me know in the comment section down below. Definitely like this video and definitely, definitely, you already know. Hit that subscribe button if you rock with your boy. But until next time, later.